Sagittarius, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, welcome. My name is Jade, this is Star, Moon, and Sun Tarot. Let me clear the resonance. Ooh, that shuffle didn't go well. All right, so Sagittarius people, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Cross watchers are welcome as well. Just check your other placements. Make sure um, you know those could have valid messages as well sometimes. And remember to take what resonates. Leave what does not as always. It's going to be for Sagittarius. General, general and or love messages. I get a lot of love messages. So let's see what's going on for my Saggy people. If you want to check out my uh, second channel, I do appreciate it. Jaded Raven Witchery, it's in the uh, description box below. And I also appreciate it so much when you guys hit subscribe here. All right, Sagittarius, second half of March. What's going to be going on? What's the deal for Sagittarius people? Thank you. Higher power. Okay, so listening to your intuition, being guided. Um, okay, wow, two more came out. Wow, the tribe with the observer. And we have the change in the wind on the bottom. This is really interesting. I'm getting here that, okay, so it's either you're putting out this energy, Sagittarius, that's gonna, that's attracted somebody that wants to make you part of their tribe, become part of your tribe, um, something to that effect. We've got a change in the wind on the bottom. So this is uh, signaling that things are getting ready to change here. This could be somebody also kind of trying to get the vibe to you. You know what I mean? That they're looking to solidify things, change things, move things forward. Show me more about this. Okay, this card wanted to come. Okay, some shadow energy. This might be something that you have overcome in the past or be trying to overcome here. We do have higher power, right? So even some of, you know, um, this could even be an issue with addiction, anything, anything like that. Um, yeah, we have the material harvest coming out right after that. So we see that someone is overcoming shadow energy, taking the higher road, this higher power energy. We also have 18 and a nine, nine and nine. This is a four, eight, what's this? 49, which is a 13 reducing to a four. So four, four, and this is 12 reducing to a three. So Someone has kind of um, overcome shadow energy. Unlocked higher guidance or a higher way of being. Wow, yeah, triumphant success. It's the sort of truth there. Um, wow. So this could literally be you or somebody around you that has... Um, it may be dealt with, we just saw the heartache and loss card on the bottom, has maybe dealt with, yeah, heart, heartache and loss. We also see disconnect and boredom, but they're moving on. This is the change in the wind here. Um, moving on from any shadow, from any deception and envy towards your higher power, your triumphant success, your material harvest. That is what I like to see. So that's good. Yeah, there might be even be something that you see or observe around friends or hanging out with people that changes your mind about somebody that makes you see them in a different light and different. Show me more with the shadow specifically. Wow. Ace of Swords. There's that clarity and insight again. It says that over and over. Oh my God, it came out. 
with the tower and the ace of wands. So there could be something that, wow, the star and the six of swords is on the bottom. This is, you know, anytime there are two aces, there's, and then we have this ace here as well. There is possibly an insight and awareness that it is, you know, possibly time to, to move on from a situation. Show me about the Ace of Swords. Like, what is the cl clarity? Wow. Death. The coffin. There's a clear... What's the tower? Wow. Hold on. It's something very unexpected. And although it is a reckoning, it's, it also could be some type of, you know, it says unexpected rendezvous. You might notice someone's very flirtatious. What's the Ace of Wands though? Show me more about that. Chariot, the new moon maiden, and the bellows. Yeah. Although you're seeing that something is very shadowy, you're getting real clear on it, that it's not for you and moving on, or that it's jealousy, it's just, it just seems not good. It seems like immediately after you have this awareness in the tower, it's like, boom, Ace of Wands, the star, wish granted. Here's Cancer with the Chariot. Moving forward here with the New Moon Maiden which is a new beginning, it's excitement, it's expansion. And here are the bellows. What's on the bottom? The man. I'm telling you, there's somebody um, new, possibly, coming in here because uh, you've gotten clear about something else and, and moving away from it. Or moving on from a toxic negative past. Maybe you've taken time to heal. That type of situation. Further advice and or guidance. For Sagittarius people, please. Boom. Yup. Rebirth. There's the rebirth card with the new moon again. Look at that. And the new moon maiden. This could have something. Last weekend was the new moon. Um, and the next new moon should be, you know, somewhere around mid-April. But it is interesting. That new moon energy could have had something to do with shifting things and, and bringing in, um, you know, just an, an acknowledgement of shadow energy. Wow, yeah, truth. Here's the other card that came out. There's a truth. And what's this? And surrender. Wow. Wow. We have a mirror here on the bottom, okay? This could be a complex situation like that where there is mirroring or complicated twin 1111 uh, twin flamey type energy if you resonate with that. Um, rebirth, truth. There is some type of truth that needs to be spoken here and there, there may be something you need to surrender to. This whole rebirth, this truth, there's new possibilities coming. It seems like you've recognized something for being um, toxic or not good, either in your life or in someone else's, or just in a way things occurred. And this clarity has brought down the tower and has now shifted the energy into a rebirth type situation where you're moving forward and you've got new possibilities coming in. Yeah, you're, this could be a lesson about boundaries you've had to learn. Yeah, this is also about cleansing your energy, cleansing your space, cleansing yourself of negative attachments. Yeah, there's something um, waiting for you here. There's, again, with truth. That's the second time we, we've seen truth. There's another truth or some other type of, yeah, wheel of fortune. There's other destiny and, and synchronicities. Could have to do with work. Yeah. 
could be somebody that you work with or, or somebody else. There's definitely more possibilities coming in and they look really nice, Sagittarius. So I hope this was helpful for you guys in some way. As always, please like, share, comment, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you guys next time. All right, much love to you all. Bye.